your dwelling place, O oh Lord. What peace and joy to feel so close to you. Our heart and soul ring out that joy this morning. We long to meet and touch the living God. The sparrow even here has found a shelter. The swallow by altars builds a nest. Oh, happy those whose dwelling is your temple. Today, body, your praises sing, O oh Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, O oh Lord. What peace and joy to feel so close to you. Our heart and soul ring out that joy this morning. We long to meet and touch the living God. This Mass is offered for the following intentions. Thanksgiving to our Mother Mary, Holy Spirit and Divine Mercy for all favours granted. Birthday blessings for Vivian Simmons, Hortensia Gonsalves, for the souls of Joseph Willie Pinto, Munz Mine, Robert Peters, Dominic Fernandez, and Freddy Gonsalves, Freddy Van Rijn, Trevor and Bennett Morcello, Ronnie and Denzel Pereira, Mario Fernandez, Ermelinda Alemao, Stella Sato, and Tony Drago. Philomena D'Souza. We also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries today. All together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the priceless communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. My dear friends, today the church celebrates very specially the Indian church celebrates the feast of Saint Alphonsa Muttatu Padatu. Saint Alphonsa was born in Kerala from Palai, Baranangana, Diocese. It is a great blessing for us to have an Indian saint. At a very tender age, she received that great that the, the treasure, the pearl of great price in Jesus, she not only decided to be a nun, but she also wanted to be a saint. And she did everything. She sacrificed everything, not only to become a nun, but also a saint. And for us, my dear friends, today, we have a very heavenly, saintly intercessor in the person of Saint Alfonso. When she was alive, a lot of people would go to her, she would pray with them and she would help them and bless them. At this Eucharist, we rely on her intercession and help. To celebrate the sacred mysteries of this Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have been told to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hear us, God our Savior, that as we rejoice in commemorating the Virgin Blessed St. Alfonso Murtato Paratu, we may be instructed by her loving devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, as he came down from the mountain, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone, because he had been talking with God. Aaron and all the people of Israel saw Moses, and behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him, and Moses talked with them. Afterwards, all the people of Israel came near, and he commanded them all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. And when Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would remove the veil until he came out. And when he came out and told the people of Israel what he was commanded, the people of Israel would see the face of Moses that the skin of Moses' face was shining, and Moses would put the veil over his face again until he went in to speak with him. The word of the Lord. And see to God. Our response is, You are holy, O Lord our God. Kindly listen to the tune. You are holy, O Lord our God. You are holy, O Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool. Holy is he altogether. You are holy, O Lord our God. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They cried out to the Lord, and he answered altogether, You are holy, O Lord our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have called you friends, says the Lord, for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel passage speaks of two parables, the parable of a treasure and the parable of a pearl of great value. And both these parables have one common message, that is, the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not a place or a thing. 
the kingdom of god is jesus himself the kingdom of god is jesus himself wherever the values of jesus are practiced the kingdom of god is present there jesus is present there and so my dear friends acquiring a treasure or a pearl of great value means accepting the will of god and also sacrificing everything to do the will of god say alfonso mutado pardo to experience she acquired this treasure the pearl of great value at a very young age and so for us to acquire this treasure this most valuable treasure is firstly to be to live our lives just as jesus wants us to live the most valuable treasure for us is to be in a right relationship with god in a state of sanctifying grace so that like saint alfonso we are in a close relationship with jesus amen happy sam of As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin blessed Saint Alfonso, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald Gracious, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are present, that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament, I love you, I love you above all things, above all things, and I desire, and I desire to receive you, to receive you into my soul, into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually. Into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself. And unite myself. Only to you. Only to you. Never permit me. You never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Jesus, you are my salvation. Jesus, you're my inspiration. Jesus, you're the treasure of my Jesus, you walk a new side to the blind, healing the crippled, the deaf and the mute, cleansing the leper and banishing news, raising the dead to life. Jesus, you are my salvation, Jesus, you're my Jesus, you're the treasure of my life. For the sake of Jesus' most sorrowful passion, our Father, have mercy on us, save us from the virus. For the sake of Jesus' most sorrowful passion, Abba, Father, have mercy on us, save us from the virus. 
for the sake of Jesus is most sorrowful passion of our father have mercy on us and save us from the fires for the sake of Jesus is most sorrowful passion of our father have mercy on us and save us from the fires for the sake of Jesus is most sorrowful passion of our father have mercy on us and save us from the fires let us pray renewed by partaking of this divine gift we pray o lord our god that by the example of saint alfonso mutato paraku bearing in our body the death of jesus we may strive to hold fast to you alone through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. the mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen our lady of mount carmel pray for us Hungry, thirsty, Lord, we came, but joyous now we live. Nourished by the bread of life, renewed and ready to serve. Together we have shared this meal, the bread of unity. Help us, Lord, to build. A world where love and charity 